I think it's 3.30 seconds, but I'm not sure. And see, I can't fit it under there until I pull this out, and I'm hoping this water is not gonna get on the, on the camera. I gotta lift it out far enough to, to fish that up in there. Let's see if I can't get it. There it is. Okay, now I can loosen it up. And that's why you gotta need, you, you need the, the small little Allen wrench, not in a, in a whole container, you know, the whole little setup. Uh, okay, I don't have to take the screw out all the way, but I've gotta loosen it up far enough where now I can pull this off. But I don't think I have it unscrewed far enough. And see if you get it out too far, you might unscrew it all the way. And then it could fall out. I don't think I do, but okay there. See the fact. In fact, I did unscrew it all the way. See there? There's the little set screw right there. And so next time I want to get this, I just have to put it up through that little hole with my Allen wrench and then tighten it back up. If you drop that down, if you drop that down the uh, drain, you've got a problem on your hands. Okay, so now what do I do? I'm just going to... There's, there's the little knob right here, and I'm just gonna turn it down and see if I can get it off all the way. And see if it still drips. Now see, it's still dripping, isn't it? So I, don't, I don't have to pull that whole handle off like I thought. I thought this was hitting on the back side, but this is not, this is not shutting off all the way. It gets pushed down tight, and it's still, Dripping dabby nabbit. So, you know, what I'm going to have to do is I pull this center part off of here. Like that. See, this comes off. The trim piece comes off and this slides in there. And then you can get, you can get to to this portion here, and there's two screws here. You undo those two screws, this can pull all the way off. But I still don't think I'm gonna be able to fix it. I may have to ask some questions to somebody first, because there's a way to take this cartridge off, I think, and maybe that's what's causing it to drip. But see, I don't know enough about it to be able to pull that off right now and get into it and have this water drip and then get a worse problem later. I'm gonna have to check this out a little bit more. Know your limitations. Don't start pulling stuff all the way apart if you're not quite sure what happens next because you could spring a leak, you might not be able to get it back together and you might not be able to just take this cartridge out. You might have to find the name of the, the brand of your shower valve so you can go to uh, a plumbing store because they're going to ask you those questions. What's the model number? What's the what's the name brand? They're, they're going to have you look through all kinds of books, and you're going to have to take a picture of this. And if you can't find the name anywhere, you may have to start looking through different books and catalogs. And say, okay, there's there it is. That's the one it is. And then uh, take a picture of this. Pull this trim off and uh, get back in there. Take a picture of all that. Then you can take it to the store and see what they can come up with. Okay, it's quite the process. So you know what? I'm going to be smart. I'm going to choose to find out a little bit more information about this. And once I do, you'll, don't worry, I'll make another video of it and see how we're going to get it fixed. Now see, lucky for me, there's a maintenance company here on property and I can talk to somebody about that before I get back into there. You, you're probably not going to have that good fortune that I do, but you know, 
when you take this all off and you see those two screws, take those out and you'll see they're really super long screws. You just have to keep on screwing because, because from here back to the rest of the um, water valve, those screws are going to be yay long, you know. And when you pull it off, make sure you see how they're lined up. So when you put it back on, you put it back on the very same way after you take your picture. Okay, do that before going to the store. Hey, can you get this fixed yourself? I think you can. Here's the thing. This thing's dripping. I've got another shower in here. Chances are, if I just go ahead and pay a service tech, I'm going to be in it for $250 is my guess. Okay, and then I'm still not going to have the knowledge on what it takes to get this fixed, where the parts need to be ordered. Maybe it's a $14 part. Now I'm paying $250 to get it fixed. Okay, that's one thing if you have only one shower. What if you got two showers and all of a sudden, four months down the road, your other one starts dripping and you just realize there's another $250 out the door. Because, why? Because you don't know how to fix it yourself. And I don't want that happening to you. If you've got any savvy at all, you'll at least go through the steps, check it all out, and it might be something that you can fix. And if so, you just learn something. And then if your other shower has the same issue later on, guess what? You can fix that one too. Knowledge is powerful stuff. I'm glad I got my tools here. Well, enough of that shower. I can't get that fixed. There's something in here I might be able to get fixed. Yep, right here. This drain is running slow. This one here. I hardly put any water in this shower and it starts backing up. I got a way to fix that. I believe you want to check that out. Stick around.